Hello, my name's Seb from Junior WRC and today we're here at our partner Wolf to have an exclusive behind the scenes tour of their factory and headquarters. So without further ado, let's go and have a look. Maria, hello, how are you? Hello Seb, good, and you? I'm very good, so it's, it's good to be here finally at Wolf and well, we've got the WRC drums out here and yeah, of uh, course. excited to take a look around. So Seb, I'm going to show you how we produce our lubricants. It's quite important to know that a lubricant is composed by two elements. Yep. First one, base oil and also additives. Then you merge them and you make the final product, which is then uh, the lubricant. So right. you want? Let's go and see it. Let's go. So Maria, right now, where are we? We are where the base oil tanks are located. As I was explaining to you, the base oils are one of the raw materials that we need to, to make a lubricant. In fact, it's 70% of a lubricant, the base oil. And uh, you need to imagine that here in the factory we have like more than 3 million litres in base oil. 3 million litres? Yes, indeed. That's a lot. And, and one of these big tanks, how many did you say is in well, there? Well, there are different sizes, but like one of the biggest ones could be around 500,000 litres. 500,000? Yes. It's a That's lot. a lot of oil. It's a lot. Wow. So you, you talk about additives and you said this is 70%. It's, it's like a recipe oil, isn't it? It's a it? recipe. For me, it's like a soup, to oh, say it like in a really simple way. This is the base oil, so the water you need. Now we need to add the rest of the ingredients. So we will visit where the additives are located. So we're going to the vegetables and the meat stock yes. now. Right, let's have a look let's at these. Go. Maria, we've just seen some really big tanks. and. These ones are small compared to them, but they're still huge. What, what are in these tanks? Yeah, so here in these tanks we can find the additives. The additives you will find in tanks and in barrels. It depends on how much we need of uh, the type of additive. Uh, what's important is that the additive is still 30% of the lubricant composition, so it's still um, quite important. It's the vegetables of uh, your soup in the end. Uh, and once we have like the raw materials, they will go into the blending tank. Yeah. And there is where the lubricant will be reduced. The blending is fully controlled by our guys here, so the chefs, let's say. Um, it's fully controlled by the computer because we need to do the formulation as exact as possible. So, you talk about the additives. It's in that tank now that's blending oil. Do you have more than one additive that goes in an Could oil? Could be. Depends on the formulation. You will need different types and you will need also different amounts. It's part of all of the process. No, You need to respect it in order to have the right formulation. Okay, look. Um, what's important, and this brings us to our next step, is that first of all, the raw materials before arriving here are controlled by our laboratory. Then we blend the product, and once we have the blend, we will also check a sample in our laboratory. For so you've got a laboratory here on site as well then? Yes. Wow. Exactly. We, go and have we will see it now. So as I was explaining to you, um, the laboratory plays a really vital role in analyzing raw materials that come in the factory, but also plays a vital role in analyzing uh, blended products. And this is a little bit the process that we are going to see here. So what happens when uh, base oil is blended, we take a sample, it will get here, we will scan it, and we will see in the computer the blended uh, lubricant that we have scanned, and then we initiate the necessary test. Wow, okay, so this is, there's a lot going on here then, I'm guessing. Yes, it's quite, it's key for yeah. us. So, Maria, um, Wolf is also, as you've mentioned, has cutting edge technology and is right at the forefront of lubricant development. What is the actual uh, product technology using here? Well, first of all, we are brand driven by our strong commitment to provide uh, unique and innovative technologies. And an example of it is our own proprietary technology multi-factor oil serum, uh, which as newer engines keep arriving and need sophisticated lubricants to keep their qualities, our technology, what we'll do is to, keep, to increase the lifespan of lubricants and also keep engines young. Multifactorial serum contains as many as 20 active ingredients that have a sophisticated balance and combined interactions that will provide in the end a vitalizing oil over time. And in fact, whether if it's for daily usage or for a highly demanding conditions like in junior WRC, this technology will allow engines to perform in an optimum way between increasingly long service intervals. So this is almost like when we were talking about soups earlier, this is like a super soup, basically. Super soup. <laughs> and only at Wolf. <laughs> only at Wolf. So it's an exclusive Wolf super soup. Yes. Okay then. So Murray, right now, where are we? We've just come from the lab. Yes, there we have tested our finished products. Now it's time to put it into packaging. So we are in the warehouse 
where all our empty packaging can be found. There's a lot of packaging here. I mean, even these are actual packages, aren't they? Yes, this is a 4,000 liter IBCs. So 1,000 liter there, but then these ones that are around us here? One liter, four liter, five liter, you can find different types of sizes. So there's a size almost for anyone that needs almost, a small bottle yeah. or a, a full bottle? For anything you would need. That's why it's so important we serve retail customers, garage customers, there is a size for each of them. Wow. Let's go and see it getting bottled up then. Yeah. I recognise those bottles there, and we've just come from where all the packaging's kept. What's going on in here? So here is the dedicated place to fill our small packaging. What do I mean with small packaging? It's one liter, four liter, and five liter. You will see a total of eight machines, um, two that are fully automized and six that are semi-automatic. The machine does from filling the oil, putting the caps, putting the label, even introducing the bottles in the carton and putting them in the pallet. So they're still basically automatic, you've just got to put the, the bottle there. The operator just puts the bottle there and then, especially the automatic machines will do the rest for you. Yeah, that's amazing, wow. How many bottles are you doing a, a day or in an hour? Yeah, well, I cannot tell you on a day. It depends on the type of packaging, but every minute we do more or less like 30 uh, cans. Three zero, 30. 30. Wow, okay. Could be more, it depends on the size. Uh, Maria, once everything's packed here, what happens next? It will go to the warehouse. Uh, there is a kind of small train there that connects this building with our warehouse. But before going to the warehouse, I should show you where we fill our big packaging. So we had some small packaging in here where these are quite a bit bigger. Yeah. So how, how do these barrels get filled up? Yeah, so well, first of all, here is where we fill uh, 20 liter, 60 liter and 205 liter. We saw the blending at the very beginning. Then it comes to these tanks, which are the ones dedicated to fill uh, the big packaging. Wow. Yeah. And then how do we fill them? Uh, our operators will put the drums in the machine, we'll put the hose and then we'll start filling. After that, the drum goes farther in the process, we'll get in the pallet and everything will get ready to our in transport for our partners. And just how many drums are you filling here? Because it's just a sea of wolf oil drums. Yeah, well, it depends on the day. For example, for 205 liter drums could be that we do 400 a day. For the 20 liter could be that we are talking about thousand. Ooh. So it depends on what's on the planning. So I've got a feeling where we are now because just around us we've got loads of drums, all different sizes, Vietnam, Malta, Belarus, China. It's just the shipping area. Yes, indeed. Here is where our people simulate uh, the configuration of a truck or a container. Um, and then they will make it all ready to be uh, included inside the transport to more than 100 countries in the world. Off to go and provide a vital lubricant to cars and other engines and all sorts, really. Indeed. And here is where our journey of the factory finishes. Do you want to join me in the office? Yeah. Should we get a coffee? Let's go. Brilliant. Right. We're going to go now. See you later.